take one. Today we're going to be talking about sound theory. You know it. All right, so what is a sound? A sound is a form of energy called acoustic energy. It's just pressure variations traveling through an existing medium. Exactly. Okay, perfect. All right, we're off to a good start. Sound is really ultimately our perception of those physical occurrences. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So there's all yes. kind of room for interpretation up inside the dome. The speaker cone is basically moving back and forth, vibrating to create yeah. the sound, right? Yeah. So as it pushes out, causes the air molecules in front of it to bunch up. Mm -hmm. And compress. It compress, which is really another yeah. word for high pressure. Gotcha. Amplitude is just really another word for volume or loudness. Okay. It's the deviation from the point of equilibrium. And amplitude we measure in decibels as well. We're actually going to be dealing with a few different decibel scales. And one of them is dBSPL. This is decibel yeah, sound pressure, pressure level. level. So this is a dBSPL meter. Uh, shout out Radio Shack. That's about 85. Two of the other scales that we're gonna be dealing with is gonna be dBFS, which is decibel full scale. Okay. And this is what we're gonna be using within our DAWs, where okay. zero is the highest level, and it goes down from there. Yeah, third yeah, scale, third scale right. would be <laughs> dBVU, and this is decibel voltage units. How much increase in dB would I need to double the power? Three dB, okay. How much increase in dB would I need to hear or perceive a doubling of volume? And this part I found very interesting mm -hmm. because I didn't realize, I thought for sure our ears would be attuned to know, you know, but it's not, it's 10 dBs. Once it gets inside here, what we do with it, that's, you know, you know that's our prerogative. So to the man upstairs, right there. <laughs> <laughs> 10 dB, that's like a major difference. Like if you get yeah. down to the final five minutes of your mix and you're making a 10 dB adjustment, you're like, <laughs> damn. You, you might want to start over or something. <laughs> frequency is really a rate. It's like miles per hour, dollars per hour. I like to think of frequency as the speed of the sound source vibration. In order for a speaker to reproduce, let's say a 1000 Hertz tone, it would need to move in and out a thousand times per second. Frequency is measured in? I have no idea. Frequency is measured in frequency? Hertz? <laughs> hertz. Yeah. Hertz. Okay, oh my god. How I'll say I it hurts. That? It hurts to think that hard <laughs> sometimes. So harmonics are the sound coming out of a harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> No, they're uh, multiples of the fundamental frequency. Very good. Yeah. Sine wave is just a single frequency. It's just like we're just going back and forth, back and forth. But once we start yeah. adding harmonics, it's like we're doing two vibrations at once. So we're going in and out, but then we're also getting this vibration mm -hmm. at the same time. So of course, the TVs go off air, that they just play a sine wave, huh? Sometimes they have like, mm. Yeah. You know, they'll go to like a, they'll be switching it up, like a little <laughs> pink noise or something. They'll be switching it up. Yeah. An octave is double or half the hertz value. So for exactly. 1,000, the octave up is 2,000, the octave down is 500. Right. So we can break our hearing range into 10 octaves. Gotcha. So in between the fifth and the sixth octave, it was the 640 and the 1280. So be halfway so between like those is 1,000. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. Show the world your <laughs> Picasso player. So we have in phase and we have out of phase. So phase is kind of describing the relationship of how various sounds blend together. These are two sine waves that are totally in phase. We have just one playing, but then as soon as we add the second one in, it just gets a little bit louder. We're gonna flip the phase of the second one. Now you see that these are totally out of phase. Now we add the second. We hear nothing. We yeah. fighting sound with sound. <laughs> Doppler, Doppler. You see this? Boom, right there, folks. Oh, look at that. Super fast flyby. Oh. oh that that's like pretty our cool. Next song, right? Yeah. Today we want to try something that I have never tried before and I've wanted to do for a long time. It's called cymatics, the study of wave phenomenons and how sound changes matter and everything. It must be too big. Put our thinking caps on, try, try again. So we did get some separation. We got a formation, look at yeah, that. We got a formation, <laughs> that's kind of cool. 
Yeah. yeah so that's... a thinner conductor definitely is what made the difference. Maybe it needs to be taped onto the yeah. 